tunes we go Laughing all the way Bells on Bob Tail ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to ride And sing a slang song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride In a one-horse open sleigh So welcome back to my channel. So it is Vlogmas Day 23. Um, we have two more days left of Vlogmas. That is crazy. It, the, this month went by so quickly. But anyways, um, like I told you guys in my previous video, my last video for Vlogmas is going to be on Christmas Day, the 25th. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole month with me, spending time with me, and spending time with me and my crazy family and my crazy moments. But yeah, um, I just wanted to come on here and say hi, do the intro and all that because today um, we are gonna make, we're gonna bake today. I am making New Mexico's favorite cookie, the bizcochito. So I'm making bizcochitos today. Um, this is what this video is gonna be about and hopefully it's not too long. Um, we're gonna do a gingerbread house too. We got a kit and we're going to make a gingerbread house too. Hopefully it's not um, too long of a video, but if it is, it, the gingerbread house might be in Vlogmas Day 24. Um, so yeah. Um, but anyways, I want to come on here and say, oh, we did it. We did Vlogmas, another year of Vlogmas. This is my second year doing Vlogmas. I can't wait till next year to do it again. But anyways, um, I hope you guys like the videos. Um, I do have a playlist uh, for Vlogmas. It's going to be linked up here on the little I, um, the Vlogmas playlist at the beginning of each video of Vlogmas. Or you could just go to my channel and find the playlist. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say hi before I do the baking and all that. So I'm going to do those clips now. So we will see you later on, but in the kitchen. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're going we're gonna to be in here in the kitchen. Guys, so I'm here in the kitchen. I'm going to show you the ingredients you're going to need to make the bizcochitos. Like I told you in the intro, bizcochitos are a New Mexico favorite cookie. Um, it's a tradition to make bizcochitos during the holidays or any special occasion. So I'm going to show you the ingredients you're going to need for the bizcochitos. So you're going to need two cups of lard, um, six cups of flour, um, two cups of sugar, you're going to need four eggs, you're going to need a fourth cup of anise seed, and then you're going to need about four tablespoons of baking powder, you're going to need a half teaspoon of salt, and then you're going to need one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that's all the ingredients you're going to need. And here and there, I'll finish doing the process of what I'm going to be doing. I usually put mix all the dry ingredients together, and then all the wet ingredients together, and then we'll combine them at the end. So I will show you the process of how I make biscochitos. Um, I'm using a cutting board to help me roll out the stuff to roll out the dough to cut the cookies. Um, whatever cookie cutters you want to use, I pulled out some holiday ones. So we're going to get into this video, so I hope you guys will enjoy. And I forgot to mention in the video, you're going to need a whisk and a rolling pin to roll out the dough. Um, you could use a hand mixer if you guys want, but my grandma always used to use her hands because it mixed better. Um, but my uses to whisk up the dry stuff and then the wet stuff together. And then when I combine it all together, I will work with my hands. So make sure you wash your hands, people! <laughs> 
We don't want to get nobody sick. Okay, well, anyways, um, we're going to get um, started with the video. Okay, so let me move the stuff I don't need out of the way first. Oops. Ah, my camera started moving. And if I put on that other little tripod, it doesn't hold because it's a cheapy one. I just got off of Amazon and it was kind of cheapy. So we're going to start with the dry ingredients first. So I have six cups of flour in here. And I know a lot of people sift, but I think it's easier if you just whisk it like this. <laughs> um, I know my grandma really didn't. Um, did she use this to sift it? But the scotitos, no, I think other like cakes and all that, that's what she did. But I'm just going with the whisk, and it kind of does the job of um, sifting. That's kind of a little life hack. So I'm just going to do that, and I combine all the ingredients together. Oh, and then you guys are going to need um, how many baking sheets you are going to need to bake. You can bake them at 350 for, I think, like... Just tell they're the golden brown. The golden brown. Um, but um, you grease the baking sheets too so they don't stick. So you just put a little bit of and grease them. So I'm just sifting, going through the flour, getting it all kind of mixed up, and then I'm going to add. Okay, now we're going to add like all the dry ingredients. So let me get them closer so we don't get make a mess. I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, so this one is um, four teaspoons of the baking powder. So I already pre-measured everything. So this video will go a little bit longer. And now you guys don't see me uh, measuring. It won't, it won't take that long. Um, and then you're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to need two cups of sugar. Look at all that sugar. All those and there. And then you're going to need a fourth cup of um, anise. Um, and it's the anise seed that I'm using. My family uses the anise seed. So I use that. And I know a lot of people make their biscuit chips a little bit different than everybody else. You could other add other liquids in here. Um, I found another recipe that my grandma has that she she tweaked the recipe and she, she could put whiskey or milk in there. But this is what I guess the base a basic um, recipe for biscuits and toast. Because I know other people put other stuff like liquid for more flavoring. Because a lot of people don't like the taste of anise in the biscuits so they mask the taste and they put a liquid in there so they don't taste the anise but you could do that so I'm just mixing all the dry ingredients together until it's combined and I think it's fine okay so I'm gonna move this to the side I wish I had a better like angle for you guys to see so now, this is the four eggs. I'm just going to whisk them together. Whisk them really good. That's a weird sound. Probably like ASMR watch. <laughs> that would have been funny to do an ASMR while baking. <laughs> They have to be very quiet. How do you like my voice for ASMR? <laughs> I'm too loud for ASMR. Okay, so I'll whisk a little bit more. That's good. So, right there. And then now. I'm gonna. Oh, I should just put. Let's see. I forgot the vanilla. I did that last year too, I think. And I had to do it like the last. So I'm just gonna mix it with the eggs because it's so liquid too. It's so liquid. And then I'm going to add the liquid into the batter. Hold 
let me press pause and got uh, like a plastic spatula like this I use it when I'm baking like brownies and all that to help knead it a little bit I'm just gonna use it a little bit while I do put the eggs in while I put the eggs in and let me put all my dishes that I already <laughs> put all my dishes over there So my grandma used to put like a little, oh, let's see, a little bit at a time to combine. That to the side. We're gonna combine that. See that it's going to absorb it. I'm going to go ahead and add in. Okay, so now I'm going to add the lard. Use my hands to combine everything together. I was going to make a dough. So you just knead it. So like if you're used to making um, tortilla masa, it's just the same way. You just knead it and combine everything together. Probably gonna time lapse this part because this is the part that takes a little bit of a while, so some this clip might be time lapse until I make it into a doughy consistency. <laughs> Grandma Susie Martinez, my mom's 
mom, that's my grandma, and this is her recipe. Uh, I was able to find her recipe that she wrote down for the scuchitos because if I wouldn't have been able to then I wouldn't know how to make the scuchitos. Just a little bit more to go and get some muscle. Power. <laughs> now I know why all the viejitos are grouch, grouchy and strong because they had to make tortillas and biscochitos and they did everything by oh, hand. <laughs> and I could feel my arms getting muscle. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think that's about right. Sure. Well, try a little bit and see how it will go. Okay, so we're gonna try to roll it. And what my grandma used to do, just leave it here because I might need it. Yeah, Eat but the I want milk. you to hit it and knock it down the floor. Oh. Well, move the milk and those other bowls. I don't need them anymore. Okay. Oh, I don't really use all the flour. Okay, so to help you roll out so it don't get stuck to the rolling pin, my grandma would just get a little bit of flour on the board. And on her hands, so like I told you, wash your hands before you do anything. I um, used to try and do it on the rolling pin too so it don't get stuck to the rolling pin. So, I'm gonna roll it out the cookie dough. Oh yeah, here we go. Now it looks like cookie dough. And you just roll it out. I just grab a little ball and don't do them too thin because then they'll burn. Don't do it too thin or too thick because then the too thick will be. If you don't too thick, you won't get the whole hundred in. Okay. Right there? Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect or whatever. And then. Okay, so I think you guys can see. Um, where did the mic go? Oh my gosh, I wonder if they even picked up anything because recording. Well, say this is just this is my grandma TV, my penis. Okay, my mom's mic. I don't know if I was recording because my mic flew the other way. So, but yeah, you just get whatever cookie cutters you want. I have a candy cane. I have a Christmas tree. I have a star, and I have a bell. Um, a lot of people use like a flower pattern, but my grandma, my grandma Susie used to use um, Christmas themed um, cookie cutters. So you're just gonna get your cookie cutter and start cutting out the cookies. So I don't know if um, it recorded anything that I said about whose recipe it was. I'm not gonna see my edit, but anyways, this is my grandma Susie's. Um, biscochito recipe, um, my mom's mom, so, um, this, well, everybody knows who your mom is, <laughs> okay, so my mom wants to put, my grandma's name is Susie Martinez, that's my mom's mom, my grandma, so anyways, I forgot to also tell you guys, in another little bowl, you're going to mix up cinnamon and sugar, and you're going to mix it up together, and so now that I cut out the cookie, I cut out the cookie like that, this is a little bell, you're going to throw it in there and spread the sugar and all that. You're going to dip the whole cookie in there, and you're going to sprinkle it all over, and that's what makes a biscochito. It looks really cute. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's it with the sugar. And then you just put it on the baking sheet and greased pan. Um, you're gonna dip them in the sugar. 
Yeah. Well, I cut them out. So my mom's going to help me, but she's not. She can't really see her because the cam, my phone camera, doesn't do that well of um, a wide shot or whatever. But um, we're just gonna start making cookies and make use of as much of your dough as possible. And use every little corner and do it as close as you can to cut them. And then pop it out. This one kind of broke a little bit and I can't fix that. But yeah, um, this is going to be probably a time lapse and little clip. So you don't have to be bored of me <laughs> cutting out a grip load of cookies and we have a hundred to cut out. So depending on how much I roll out and cut out, we'll have a hundred. Um, you could use miniature um, cookie cutters and you'll have you'll probably make more cookies. So I'm gonna try a star pattern now. There's one right there. I'm gonna try a star pattern now. And we have the oven at 350, and you're gonna just put them in there for like 15, not 20 minutes, just until they're golden brown. You just put them in there until they're golden brown. And I usually check the bottom of the cookie first to make sure that they're done. But yeah, this is a fun little project we're gonna do for you today. Um, this video is probably gonna be mostly about us just making the biscochitos. That's all we're doing today is making this with you bowls today. Um, tomorrow's vlog for the 24th might be a different vlog. Um, we might be, that, vlog, that vlog might have us making our gingerbread house. So we bought a kit to make a gingerbread house. Now I'm doing the candy thing. <laughs> the pop out. Ugh. Okay, we're going to do a little candy cane. But yeah, we're gonna do our ginger, make our gingerbread house. We got a gingerbread house kit to make, and that's what we're going to do. Maybe tonight or tomorrow, but it's gonna be put up as a vlog next day, twenty four. And as for Christmas, I'm just gonna compile a video <laughs> of what we do on Christmas Day, or extra footage that I didn't get to put in as vlog or whatever. Okay, so. And then you just space them out on the cookie sheets like an inch apart from each other because they don't, these cookies don't rise, right? They don't rise, huh? That much? Mm -hmm. They don't really rise, so um, just spread them out like one inch apart from each other. Um, um, we have a lot of baking sheets, so we might use those sheets that way we could have multiple pans in the oven, but the pans, the oven's still kind of tiny too, so. We might just use two at a time and just keep an eye out. But once, like I said, <clears throat> once the oven preheats, it'll go pretty quickly. It goes pretty quickly, and you have to keep an eye on them because these cookies are delicate, uh, delicate and they will burn quickly. So keep your eye out on the cookies because you do not want to burn them. Well, actually, my grandma do didn't like to burn them, but. If, she, if, she, if they act, if they burnt a little bit, I actually liked them a little bit better. Huh? They're yeah. a little bit burnt, like a little. Yeah, they, 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 they tasted good. They would taste good. So, mm -hmm. and roll that out. Right. Okay, so we're gonna roll it out again. And <clears throat> like you saw, I just use the same dough that the pieces that didn't come out in the cookie cut from the cookie cutter. And cut them out like the trimmings. I still just reuse it until we're out of cookie dough. <laughs> until we're out of cookie dough. And if I don't, if I run out of cookie dough and I don't have room to make any like big cookies out of the cookie cutters, I'll just roll them out like a regular cookie and let them get flat. But yeah, this is everybody's favorite cookie in New Mexico. So what shape haven't I done yet? The Christmas tree. Okay, so we're gonna do the Christmas tree now. I don't know, this might be a talky talk video, but I don't know, I might have to speed up some of the clips, Mom. 
because this might be like a 40 minute video and you know how long those two <laughs> might be. I should have done a live stream for this. But it's too late for that because you guys already missed half. <laughs> I can't do a live stream because... Actually, I could probably do a live stream on Instagram. I could probably live stream a little bit on Instagram. We'll just make it as a video. <laughs> Next year we'll try out all these fancy new ways of doing stuff. Honey. Well, I can always make redo the recipe and then do a live stream. I'll show her, show them that they actually have an infinite. Oh, so the reason why my mom likes my grandma's recipe is because my grandma puts a lot of the anise seed and the taste of the anise is what makes the biscochito. <laughs> a lot of people do not like the taste, but you can see almost e specks. almost every cookie is going to have anise. Those little specks that you see, those dark specks, is the anise seed. So every cookie is going to have a bite of anise. And a lot of people, they don't put anise in their cookies or they don't put enough because they don't like the taste of it. But our family, we love the taste of anise. So my grandma, she, she made, made the... She made the she made the recipe to her. It has a lot of anise, and my grandma loved anise in it. Um, but yeah, it's just a repeating process. Um, so yeah, um, I might do some clips of time lapse or whatever. I might stop it a little bit so because I want to show you guys the finished product of us doing it. So actually, I might pause it for a little bit because I already showed you the whole process on um, how to make biscochitos. So. Um, I'm gonna do a clip now of me just doing a time lapse. So we will see you when the biscochitos are done making. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Okay, so one, one pan finished cooking, and that's what that looks like. Oh, one brown. I'm going to taste it for a taste test. That's how they look, like light and fluffy in there. Mmm. It's not good. Mmm, and those bits of the anise in there. Mmm. So yummy. My family, they like their biscochitos thin. So that's why they're thin. A lot of people make them a little bit thicker, but. Our family likes our biscochitos thin, so that's why I made them thin. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Mm. My grandma used to like eating biscochitos with her coffee. She likes eating biscochitos with her coffee, so. But yeah, they're nice and yummy. You should have come and taste one. Go taste one. I'm gonna get you over here after a moment. See what my mom says. Mm. Do it taste like grandma's? Mm -hmm. So I did it right. <laughs> well, I always do it right too, but every I think sometimes every day I when I certain things when I bake sometimes it tastes different every time, but okay. <laughs> This is one recipe that it always turns out tasting like my grandma's. <laughs> this video should go out as in memory of Grandma Susie Martinez's baking for Christmas. Oh, okay, so she wants me to dedicate this video to my grandma Susie Martinez up in heaven because um, baking biscochitos and Christmas was her favorite holiday. So this is going to be in loving memory of my grandma Susie. So um, I hope you guys. Um, like this video, um, I'm gonna show when I plate when I plate the cookies after they're all finished and all that. I will show you guys how I plate them and all that. Um, I don't know how much footage I have. I'm gonna see my vlog, but even if it's a short video, I still showed you guys how to make the biscochitos and all that. I have a couple ready right here to go out into the um, oven, but I don't have room in the oven <laughs> for more baking sheets, so I have to deal with that. So right now I'm just waiting. And I'll do a clip of 
how my grandma would put them on a plate, on a platter, um, after they're done cooking. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a like. That lets me know you guys are enjoying my videos. Um, let's get to our daily goal. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more future videos. Um, my Vlogmas playlist is linked somewhere up here with the I. Um, that's the whole playlist of my Vlogmas videos. You can watch everything in order in one spot. You could binge watch all my videos for Vlogmas. I have more videos on my other channel. On my, ugh, I have more videos on my channel, so it's just not Vlogmas. I do vlog. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, don't forget to some, um, don't forget to comment. Uh, so you could be featured in my next video. I take a screenshot of your comment and I will feature it in your video If you're not featured in one of my videos, we'll come back to, um, Next time and maybe your comment will be featured in my another in another video I always do featured comments at the beginning of the video. So I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 24 and 25 we'll see you two more days of vlogmas and I will see you guys um, So until then bye bye so hi guys, I just came on here real quick to show you the finished product of the biscochitos. This is what it lo they look like now that they're out of the oven and cooled. And I'm putting them in these um, Christmas themed um, storage containers. I just put um, wax paper on the bottom and then I put the cookies in there and this is what they look like finished. And they taste so yummy. They taste yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> Um, yeah, they taste just like my grandma's cookies, so, yeah, th there's the finished product, um, so I'll see you guys later, bye. So, give this video a like, let's get to our daily goal, the like will let me know that you guys are enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out any more future videos that I have, um, I'm gonna start planning out videos for next year, so stay tuned, and comment down below. Um, so it could be featured in my next video. I fe do featured comments at the beginning of each video. So comment down below so it could be featured. Your little comment will be screenshotted and put in my video for a shout out. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time in the next video. So until then, bye bye.